Hello dear Gemini, welcome to Divine Debut, this is Kathy speaking and this is your uh, mid-month of August 2020 general and love reading. Um, it's going to be a five card spread, hope that you're all doing well and I will be looking at uh, a few cards for love as well as well as uh, at the end I will be taking a message from Spirit for you. So do hang about. I'm also using my my handwritten love cards. So let's see what's going on, dear Gemini, for you at this stage. Or whenever you view this reading. Don't forget it's a general reading. It will not resonate for all of you. In the now we've got the Empress. That's beautiful. So Aries, Taurus. Aries, Taurus and Libra. Okay. Empress is the mother. As an energy, this is saying that things, good things are coming in for you. What's at the foundation? We've got the Palace of Wands. So there's been a lot of desire. Strong, strong desire. This gift is powered, is provided from your passion, your creative um, abilities to create something that now you are receiving the harvest. In the recent past, we have the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is that soulmate connection. It's also children. So we've got the mother and the children here, the mother and the child. A very big theme for you. What's on your mind, Gemini? And we've got the Seven of Swords. I feel that some of you are strategizing a getaway. A getaway, maybe you're connecting to a, for those of you that are in a commitment, you may be getting away from a connection, a marriage, um, and moving towards a soulmate, someone that you feel is, that you're connected from a past lifetime, a long time ago. For others of you, this is strategizing to move away, could be um, separating yourselves or doing something behind your mother's back, something that your mother does not need to know, doesn't, shouldn't need to know, of course. Um, Seven of Swords is usually the thief, okay? It's someone trying to get away with something. It's someone that's strategizing, trying to be intelligent. Okay, a lot of swords. So this is the, this is your energy. You are all about logic, about the thought, the perception, Okay, and this could be you manifesting something after being so, um, you've created something that's going to provide for you. So there's strong intelligence here as well. What's the outcome? And we've got the five of coins. Wow. Five of coins. Look at this. Oh my God. So there is so, such similarity here. This is freaky. Like, check this out. The mother and the child begging for help, asking others for help. This is Mercury in Taurus. Mercury is uh, your ruling planet in Taurus. Taurus is all about self-worth values. For those of you that have not been valued within a commitment, a marriage, maybe even from your mother, and you could be a mother yourself. I suppose the Empress could be a grandmother for others of you. So it could be your mother where you've got your own children. This is like begging for begging for crumbs from someone. And, you know, the Empress is someone that's very well off. Interesting. Now, five of coins is someone not believing that there is help out there for them. But there, this is also changes coming in. And dear Gemini, for you, I mean, it's um, it's been a, a major challenge the past three three months. I do feel now that your money situation is going to change. I mean, Mercury can mean business. It can mean business and collaboration. And we've got Taurus. Taurus is all about having the comforts. Okay, so whatever you're doing business... Uh, in whoever you're collaborating with okay you're at the point of change here and you have been uh, working I would say trying to be very intelligent but 
seeing crumbs, I do see here that you have to keep your beliefs. Stay strong where your beliefs are concerned. Money, your money situation is changing. Now, of course, again, those of you that are a mother, um, you're, you may be strategizing a getaway from a commitment and you're going to be, you know, in a very shaky position where your finances are concerned. But don't give up hope. What's at the bottom of the deck? And we've got the King of Cups, which is a Scorpio Cancer Pisces. Okay. Um, King of Cups is someone that's very loving, very nurturing, someone who will be open, open to love, someone who could be very selfless. This could be someone that will come to your rescue, someone that will bring in the help for you, someone who will take on the energies of the Empress. And we've got the Ten of Swords, look at that. Ten of Swords, wow. So for those of you that are dealing with a water sign, another water sign, know that this will pass if there was some sort of an ending. Okay, because someone withheld information, someone did not tell you, they did not communicate, they were not truthful with you. This has left you in an unstable ground. Look, we're going to take more cards. Let's have a look at the moon, um, sorry, the black moon astrology cards. Let's see how the planets are affecting you. We have Mars and Force. Now it's interesting that Mars transiting through the sign of Aries, its home sign, uh, will be turning retrograde on the 9th of September. So therefore we're going to have Mars retrograding for a couple of months. This will be a time um, to go inwards, obviously the chance to give us the time to catch up because Mars is all about pushing through. Okay, now Mars retrograde can be quite forceful. It can be quite, uh, you know, the fire doesn't have where to go. So it implodes, it goes inwards. So be, take care, take care of yourselves. Don't uh, try to overdo it. Uh, know that when the light is green, that's when you move forward, not when there is a barrier. Now, you can strategize, of course, and be smart about it, and um, don't go, don't force yourself onto a brick wall. Try to do a maneuver, go on the sides, move smart, be intelligent as you are naturally. Let's see what else we've got Sagittarius and I see. This Sagittarius is all about the truth. It's all about faith. Um, you will be given the chance to see what is true and what is not. Okay, Sagittarius is also, could be a foreign person that you're dealing with, someone that's from a different background to you. Um, whoever's trying to use force, it will not work for them. It will backfire. Okay. Now, someone may be forcing you to see that their truth is your truth. You're not going to put up with that. You prefer to be on your own and to suffer financially than to be in a connection that someone is trying to make you look at the world through their eyes. And we've got Scorpio, I transform. And Scorpio is all about death and transformation. So we've got um, heavy Scorpio, Sagittarius could be someone on the cusp. Uh, Mars, of course, rules Scorpio. That's important to say as well. Let's look at love with the Lover's Path Tarot. Or Gemini, please, Spirit, Gemini. Dear Gemini, Venus is now in Cancer. It is in your, in your second house of self-worth your values, what you have, whether you feel comfortable or not financially. So this could say that you're strategizing, you're coming up with an idea um, that you're creating. And this could be quite a far-fetched idea, quite an advanced idea, which will bring you the transformation that you've been hoping for. And what's interesting is that we've got a number 20 here. 20 is also the judgment card. 
which is that awakening, okay? Something that has died is transforming. This is another chance that you get. Um, and Sagittarius is all about holding on to your beliefs, not giving up. Because Sagittarius is also the law, don't forget. It's the law of the world. Okay, so the natural laws. Let's have a look. We have four of arrows, which is the four of swords. So this is a time of taking a break, trying to heal after heartbreak. We've got number 19, which is called awakening. We've got Cupid and Psyche. This is a major love connection. This is a connection that was not uh, wanted. Um, don't forget in mythology that uh, Cupid was Venus's son, where uh, Venus put Psyche, Cupid's love uh, moment of having to jump through hoops and prove her love for Cupid. So obviously the mother was against this connection and as I said Psyche was put through a lot so that she could prove uh, her worthiness um, in being in you know a relationship with Cupid. So and we've got the mother here so that's very interesting to see but they did win in the end I mean this is a very strong connection and we've got the Queen of Swords Queen of Swords is your energy Queen of Swords is someone who stands in her truth Queen of Swords is also someone who's been through the test okay she's come out of a connection where she was not she was not valued so therefore she took back the strength, her strength, and she stood strong in her convictions. Plus, the Queen of Arrows, of course, is someone who's very intelligent. She does the math, and therefore, if you know the math, um, it if it sums up correctly, she will be open to this. If not, she's someone about the details, all about the details. Now, the Queen of Swords, uh, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, I would say more than likely this is your energy. And the Queen of Swords is uh, someone who's very sharp, very logical thinking. And what's interesting is here with Cupid and Psyche, um, Cupid would come to Psyche uh, in the night and she could never see his face. So what this tells me is that someone is not tr uh, showing you their true self, they're holding back on their true emotions. Could be that there is a deep love here, but they're not being truthful about how they truly feel. With the Seven of Swords, they're hiding that. So let's take a few more cards. Let's have a look. King of Cups, of course, is someone that is always very open to love. Now, don't read reversals. So King of Cups could be someone... If this was to be in the reverse, they're not showing you their true emotional self. And I was going to take on the Empress. We've got the full card here. And the full card is a new journey, a brand new journey, a sudden new uh, understanding that there is life. Life is being given to you. This is a brand new beginning. You are the child. You are this newborn here which is starting on a new journey, you're taking that risk. You're taking that risk and you will be receiving a lot of love and harvest. So a lot of manifestation of dreams. Let's have a look at the Palace of Wands, which is at the foundation. What's in your foundation? And we've got the Nine of Swords. So some of you were not moving towards your desires because of fear, because of fearing the worst. Now the Nine of Swords, this is your mind working overtime, of course, dear Gemini. This could be someone that was planting the fear in your head, saying that you could not um, manifest your dreams here, but I feel that this was only a perception, a wrongful perception. And what we, we don't see, what is hidden is what is frightening to us but taking that risk with the fool standing in your truth with that Sagittarius 
energy here that will take you to the transformation. Let's have a look at the Six of Cups. And we've got the Moon. So this was a hidden, a hidden connection. This is also fears because of children. For those of you that have children, you were fearing maybe moving away from a dark connection. Maybe fear was put upon you that you could not do this on your own. So I feel as though your self-worth has taken a blow. Let's have a look at that Seven of Swords, which is on your mind. And we've got faith. Yes. This is you strategizing and using faith to, to move you forward. And again, this could be moving away from a commitment, a marriage, from a Taurus sun, moon rising. Okay, and uh, for those of you that are dealing with a commitment, uh, maybe if you're connected to a Taurian individual, because we've also got Scorpio here, which is opposite Taurus, and it says transform. So they're probably praying and hoping that you will not um, awaken to, um, because, you know, the, the Hierophant is all about restrictions, doing things by the book. Okay, so they're probably hoping and praying that you will not be smart enough to strategize and to break free from these traditions, from the, this family, from this, the way things were done in the past. Let's have a look at this King of Cups. And we've got the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is my Sagittarian card. So we've got water uh, with Sagittarius here, Knight of Wands someone who's ready to take action okay there's a lot of fire here so you may be dealing with a water sign that's also got strong fire in their chart okay let's have a look at that five of coins which is the outcome and we have the queen of wands queen of wands fire okay queen of wands is leo sagittarius aries if that I feel that this is another side to you. I do feel that you're going for what you desire, whether it's the right thing to do by others or not. I feel that this is you standing in your truth, okay, because now you see what your truth is. Um, with the card of force, the Martian energy is here, okay. Mars, as I said, rules, it rules Scorpio, but it also rules Aries, you know, Aries and Mars, this is the fighting spirit, the warrior spirit. And I feel as though even if you have to use force, you're going to uh, move towards what you desire. And you don't care that you've been breadcrumbed. You've got the, um, the power in your hands to create something new of your own. I want to take another card on this Nine of Swords in your foundation. And we've got the Queen of Swords. Here you are again. You've got the you're showing up twice as the Queen of Swords. Okay? Queen of Swords, very decisive, very strong. You are putting an end to all this fear. Whoever has been forcing themselves on you or trying to keep you from standing in your truth from being your um, true authentic self you're putting a uh, an end to it yeah we've got pisces and cancer here but we've also got strong psychic connection a strong psychic connection with with someone who is also very psychic we've got the king of cups here right now, the King of Cups is usually um, someone that's very recessive. They don't usually take action. I do feel that with the Mars Force, they're coming in quickly, very decisively and very furiously, okay, because um, they're ready now to take on, you know, they're getting on their horse and they're riding in. They're coming in very quickly. And I feel that... Uh, the fire is so strong now with Mars turning retrograde very soon. Mars is slowing down now. So it is um, 
in the position it's at, it's slowing down. So once a planet slows down, it becomes stronger because when it's retrograding, it's closer to the Earth. So we do have Queen of Wands and Knight of Wands. Looks as though this person is more water than fire, but their fiery side is coming out now. Dear Gemini, you are also showing up as the Queen of Wands and you're moving towards something that you um, want to nurture, something that you want to create. Let's take one more card on that Queen of Wands and the Five of Coins. And we have the Knight of Coins here. Okay, Knight of Coins is uh, usually my Virgo card, but it's uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Again, we've got a Knight of Coins, which is usually slow, slow moving. You know, they come in slowly here. As you can see, this horse is on fire. So we do have six pentacles here, which means that you may be moving into divorce settlement, a separation. Six of pentacles is Libra. Don't forget, you're trying to find your balance where your relationships are concerned, whether it's family, whether it's work. Now, Knight of Coins, yes, is slow and steady, pace forward, but I do feel that it's quickening up with this card, as you can see, the horse. The horse is ready to... Um, to jump into something new, jump into something that is much more balanced and secure where the future is concerned, okay? More than likely, you were strategizing, you were in a, a point of imbalance for some time, but I do feel that now the pace will quicken here. brand new cycle with the full card and I want to say that um, for some of you because this is you you know you're taking a dive into the unknown your risk uh, will be a little bit shaky at first but your strategy and whatever you've created and you, what you're creating will get you to to your goals dear Gemini so let's take and let's take some love messages here with my handwritten cards. Gemini, please. Gemini, please. And we have, I see pain and sorrow in your eyes. Please trust that I won't ever hurt you. Please, Gemini, if you're leaving a past connection, make sure that you don't take the pain and the distrust from a previous connection. Your eyes are familiar to me. I know that we've shared lives before. You must feel it too. So it's very interesting that we've got two cards that speak of the eyes. Now, the eyes are the mirror of the soul. Through the eyes, we can see the other person's soul. So... The second card, uh, your eyes are familiar to me. I know that we've shared lives before. You must feel it too. This is obviously that soulmate connection that you are moving towards. Let's take another card. And we have it's done. They cheated, feeling blue door closed. Wow. Wow. So we've got a 10 and a 10. I would say more than likely that it does, doesn't matter what, uh, which... Um, which order the cards come out with, okay? Uh, think of what's going on in your own personal life. We've got a 10 and a 10 that equal 20. Again, we've got the Scorpio 20 here, and 20 is judgment, which is saying that there was cheating. If this was in a past connection or in this connection, there was cheating. That's why the door is closed. Remember what I said? Strategize, do not head straight for that wall, but go around it. All right, so dear Gemini, that's just a bit of advice. Hope that you um, understand where I'm coming from. Of course, this is your own this is your own free will, the way you're gonna do things, but that's what I received from the messages. Let's take let's take a message from Spirit from the Lightworker Oracle. For Gemini, mid August of 2020. 
and we just had a new moon in the sign of Leo so there's new beginnings where the heart is concerned Gemini let's look at your message and we have master healing and he's got a book as you can see he's connected to spirit to the ethers to God who to whoever you believe in let's read and 33 is a master number okay as you meditate remain true to what inspires your heart and commit to your spiritual path you become an increasingly powerful healer you are here to live your own life to be true to what genuinely moves you the unconditionally loving guide and ascended master Serapis Bay comes to you now with a blessing of master healing to further your success on your path okay so this uh, master Serapis Bay um, is a beloved guide for those who feel a strong soul connection to ancient Egypt for healers who are developing their own modalities and those who love to work with high frequency concepts so that's what I see here now you're obviously following your higher self um, okay or this is maybe a guide that is here to offer help to you but I feel that this is you connecting to spirit to the ethers to God can okay, receiving the download at this time and this is the help that you're probably receiving with the Empress right here you're going through some sort of a rebirth don't forget we've got Sagittarius here which is all about spirit okay okay dear uh, Gemini I will leave it there I hope that it resonated again if not you, I told you what you need to do watch the other videos or wait for my next uploads other than that thank you for liking sharing and subscribing uh, as well as commenting obviously I read all the comments always um, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart wishing you all the best and I will talk to you soon namaste